everyone so you want to have this login with steam button on your website potentially maybe you want to log in some users who have steam and it's pretty easy to do with php okay so we expect when you click this button you get redirected to steam you log in and you come back to our website on a login protected dashboard so here in my file structure i have an index page that has login with steam here right so this button in here I have a dashboard page, which is going to be login protected. And this is our code that's just going to check for a generic. If they're logged in, if their session is logged in, then let them permit on this page. And if not, send them to error.php. Okay, and we're not defining any variables yet because we don't know what they are yet here, the avatar and the name. But these are just generic starter files, right? If they're logged in, don't redirect them. And if they, um, sorry, if they are not logged in, redirect them to error.php. Okay, so right now, if I wanted to go to dashboard.php, I don't have any session set, so instead I go to error.php, okay? And we wanna actually set this session. So we start by redirecting them to Steam, okay? So we're gonna to go to this link here on our index.php page, this init openid.php. Why don't I put that generic link in um, that <coughs> href? Because you'll see we actually have to construct the link. It's a little bit more complicated. So I'm gonna do my init openid. I'm gonna to go to the cinder guide that I wrote up and we're gonna copy and paste these URL parameters that we'll need, okay? So this tells Steam, you know, we are redirecting you to Steam, but not only that, but we wanna come back to this URL here. We wanna, the check ID, so we wanna get the Steam ID, and we're gonna use openid.net auth 2.0, okay? So we have these parameters. Let's actually build our URL and redirect the user. We're gonna do that in the next step here. So we have the Steam URL, we're gonna redirect the user with this header, and so now, if everything works correctly, we should be able to click Login with Steam, and it takes us to Steam. Now, when we sign in, where is it going to redirect us? It's going to redirect us back to localhost Login with Steam IT process open ID. So this process file, which right now is mostly empty, except for we start a session, and I have this little helper function to print arrays a little bit easier. Okay, so I'll hit Sign In, and it takes us to process open ID.php. And if you want to know what this helper function does, uh, I have a little... <laughs> you know one minute video on it but basically i can just type echo p and then expecting some kind of array so the get request here and so i'll get i'll print out everything we have here by refreshing it okay so this is what we have we have some information we pass to them some information they pass back to us and let's see we have a steam id that uh, is in question but we can't just use this steam id right because somebody could spoof this so we have to actually validate to make sure that all of these parameters are correct and we're going to validate them with Steam and their OpenID login endpoint, okay? So we're going to set up some more parameters, all right? So we go here, and we have these parameters. And so these parameters are going to be from that GET request, right? But we don't want to hard code the entire thing. We can actually dynamically create based off of this string here. For example, uh, let's see, OP endpoint. It's the same one right here, OP underscore endpoint, right? We can just dynamically create... Um, another parameter set from that. Okay, so we're going to uh, loop through the exploded signed variable and we're going to finish our parameter. So I'll go echo p params again and print that out there. And so now we have these parameters and we need to take these parameters back to Steam and say, hey, you gave us these parameters, but are they valid? Okay, and if they say yes, then guess what? We run with it and we sign the user in. Okay, and so to build these parameters and to send them to Steam, we're gonna do a stream context create. And this is a little bit different from curl. I mean, it's the same thing as curl. You can use curl here. I just use stream context create because this is a little bit cleaner. We're worried more about headers than we are about um, some of the you know more granular features in curl. So what we do is we set our parameters to data and we build our query that's gonna be passed in here in content. And then we set the rest of our headers, which are expected by Steam. And then we're gonna hit the Steam community open ID login endpoint with this context here, okay? Um, and this false, that is um, asking if we need PHP any. So we don't, we don't need that. But to access this context, we have to put false here. And so now we should expect to get some kind of result from Steam with based off of, you know, hey, are these valid? And let's see what Steam tells us. If I refresh, it says valid true. Okay, so they give us this little complicated string. And so we're gonna have to play with this string using regular expression, but they at least give us, hey, this string is true. Well, if I refresh this page and I pass the exact same stuff, because this get request didn't change, right? This get request is unique based off of every redirect from Steam. If I refresh this, 
it'll say valid as false because you can only use the series of tokens they give us once okay so let's go back and now we're gonna have to re-authenticate refresh here log in with steam and we should get valid as true again okay so we're going to check if this string says valid as true or valid as false using regular expression and then since we have the steam id in the url we're going to say okay we know that string is true and so whatever is associated with that string in that steam id we can match it up here using regular expression in the get parameter open id claimed id okay so if we are valid right so preg match is valid and this matches against regular expression in our result which is what i printed out here it says true right if it's true then our steam id is valid and our request is validated now we can run with this so let's go back let's retry the request log in with steam go here sign in and it says request has been validated so now we want more information on the steam id but guess what if the user in this case failed to validate or something happened along the line if i refresh it'll say unable to validate your request right so if we can't match the string unable to validate okay let's keep going so now since we have the steam id they didn't give us an avatar and um you know their username like discord does which is you know nice by discord but it's okay it's just one extra endpoint so we're going to hit the steam api endpoint because we want to know more information on this steam id here and to hit the Steam API endpoint, we need the Steam API key. So I will define my Steam underscore API underscore key here. But how do I get this thing? Okay, there's a link here in the guide. If I click this link, it'll take me to the Steam ID. And so this is my API key, okay? You might have to go through a process where you actually create the API key, put it in the domain, but I have it already set, right? It's just, I think it's like two menus and you'll have to log in, okay? So we pass our API key, we send it to Steam. What else do we pass? We pass the Steam ID, okay? So we want information on the Steam ID. And what you'll see is we should get a response if we have everything correct. So let's see what we have. Let's go back, refresh. And I might have to pee the response, but let's see. Okay, yeah, so this is an array uh, and we don't wanna convert that. So let's just echo P here, here to see what, what did we actually get from Steam. Sign in. Okay, we got information about the user. Perfect. Their Steam ID, their persona name, their profile URL, everything. And guess what? It's up to you. If you want to save their real name, save their real name. For this tutorial, I'm just going to save their name, their persona name, and their avatar medium because this is a smaller version of the image, not the full size. And I'm going to set it to the session variable. But if you notice here, this is an array of objects, right? So to hit this thing, you have to hit response player zero because it's an array of objects. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to set user data to be response player zero, and then I'm going to set some session variables. And this is why you had to start the session up here. And really you had to start up here was because you're going to set new headers here and you have to start the session before you set headers. So we have our session here. We're going to get our user data from the response from that, um, you know, lower level array. And then we're going to set logged in is equal to true and user data is equal to all of this data and perfect. Now we have that login is equal to true here, right? So now we will not get redirected off of dashboard and we can redirect the user to dashboard. Paste that in here. And so now let's see what happens when we hit the dashboard. Now, when we hit the dashboard, we're gonna get a bunch of errors, right? It's gonna say, hey, all these variables are undefined. So let's quickly define some variables on the dashboard pulling from the session. So first we check if they're logged in. If not, let's take them to the error page. And then we're gonna set the username variable that I use here the avatar variable that I use here from the name and avatar in the process open ID uh, lines here. Okay, let's see if that worked. If it worked, we should see my, my icon and my name on the dashboard page. Sign in. And we have the dashboard page. Now we still got an undefined variable. What is the undefined variable name? Login with steam, call stack, main, dashboard.php. Welcome to the dashboard. So it had my name. It did not like my username. Let's see. I'm guessing it's because I spelt name here and username there. So if I refresh that, now we got it. Okay. Log out to destroy the session. Very simple. You go to logout.php. So you just link to a PHP page. Start the session, destroy the session, redirect them. That's it. That's how easy it is to add a login with Steam button to your PHP page.